Hello everybody, welcome to the Chin Fat channel. In this tutorial, I'm demonstrating 15 shortcuts that are going to be used in Premiere Pro that's going to help you with your editing. Most of these are keyboard shortcuts. Let's get started right away. First of all, if you're on a PC or a Mac, most of these shortcuts are pretty much identical on the PC or Mac. Uh, whenever I say control on the PC, you use the command key on the Mac. And that's pretty much the same for every single shortcut inside of Premiere. There's a few exceptions for these 15 that I'm going to be showing you. Like I said, uh, control and command are used. Uh, control is used on the PC and command is used on the Mac. So first of all, let's talk about importing. So the first shortcut is control I. Usually if you go up to file and go to import and you can you can navigate and find footage, but if you want to stay on the on the keyboard shortcut, all you have to do is hold down control or command and hit I. That'll be, bring open your explorer window or your finder window and then you can navigate through your drive and find footage. Then you can navigate to the footage that you need, select it and hit open and it will import that footage. If you're inputting raw footage such as red footage, you're going to have to use the media browser instead, but control I is a nice little quick shortcut. Next shortcut is I and O, the letters I and O standing for in point and out point. If I double click on a clip down here in my uh, project window, it will load it into the source monitor ready for editing. Now I can find the portion of the clip that I need to use and just hit I for in point that sets an in point and as we move along here, O for your out point. And now this is the selected edit that I've chosen to be put down to the timeline. Next shortcut is going to be either the comma or the period. I know that's two, technically two shortcuts, but uh, they're kind of the same function here, very similar. First of all, the comma is what's called an insert edit, and the period is called an overwrite edit. If you hit comma, it'll take this in and out point and drop it into your timeline where your playhead is. Watch this, I hit comma, it drops it in, and it shoves everything else out. That is called an insert edit. I'm going to undo, control Z, there's another shortcut I kind of slipped in there, and period. Period does an overwrite. It eats over the footage in its way. Notice how it ate into the footage right here and dropped the clip down in there. So I'm going to undo that, control Z. And uh, if you want to do an overwrite over on top of different layers here, I can choose my source patches down here and here. And now it will drop my video and audio from this source monitor on this track and this track. Hit period and there's an overwrite. Otherwise, if you hit comma, it creates a split and it put, shoves everything else down. The next essential shortcut and also kind of lumped into two shortcuts, but I'm kind of including this as one shortcut here, would be the use of Q and W. They're right next to each other. Q and W is a quick way of editing as you get your playhead in here and say we want to perform, say we want to cut this off and delete all this to the left. All you have to hit is Q. Q will cut it and delete everything to the left and ripple delete for you and fill everything else in. I'm going to undo that and it is similar with your W. I'm going to move down here and say we want to eliminate the rest of this shot to the right. W does that. W cuts it and deletes everything to the right and performs a ripple cut and will ripple delete uh, the gap. So Q deletes everything to the left, W deletes everything to the right. And this is really functional when you're doing your initial editing. Once you start adding audio, mixing, and a whole bunch of audio channels, that kind of becomes not such an easy shortcut. Next shortcut is playing in your timeline. Of course, you've got your space bar, which plays and pauses. But uh, for, for quick navigation, the JKL keys. The JKL keys are your shuttle keys. If you put your three fingers on the J, K, and L, I usually do it with my right hand, and you hit J, it rewinds. If you hit K it stops. If you hit L, it forwards. Now, if you hit J a couple times, two times, then three times, then four times, it goes faster and faster. If you hit L, then L again, then L again, and again, and again, it will start going super, super fast, and then you hit K to stop. So just kind of a quick way of navigating through timelines, through your timeline, and through actual clips as well. This works for clips as well as it does for your timeline. J, rewind. K, stop. L forward. And then once again, if you hit it, if you hit it a bunch of times, J a bunch of times, K, L a bunch of times, it'll fast rewind or fast forward. Next shortcut, control K or command K. Wherever your playhead exists on your timeline, as long as these tracks, as your tracks are selected here, if they're deselected, that it won't hurt, that will not touch those tracks, but as long as they are all selected, if you hit control K, it performs a cut for you. I'm going to zoom up on this plus hit the plus on my keyboard on the top of my keyboard to zoom up and notice it performs a cut right through my video there. And if you do it over multiple tracks, control K, it'll cut through everything that is selected over here. So that is a quick little shortcut as opposed to going over and grabbing your blade, coming over and, and, and performing a cut. If you need to do it on a single track, then the blade is the way to go. But uh, the control K will automatically perform a cut. The letter D. D is a handy little tool for selecting the clip where your playhead is. Uh, let's say we want to cut a portion of this clip here. In fact, I'm going to just choose my arrow and we're going to use our previous shortcut, Command K, Control K to cut. And I've got a cut there and we're going to move down here and I'm going to cut off 
this, I want to cut this whole portion out right there. Control K to cut there. I'm going to arrow up to jump to my previous edit. And I'm, now my playhead is right here at the beginning of this clip. If I hit the letter D, it selects that clip. So if you don't want to select it with your mouse and you want to stay on the keyboard, D will select. And this leads into the next shortcut, which is Option or Alt, and then your delete key, the big delete key at the top of your keyboard, not the backspace. So now that that is selected, if I just hit the regular delete key, notice it leaves a gap. I'm going to hit Control Z or Command Z and undo. And now if you, you select this by hitting D, as mentioned before, and now we hold down Option Delete, look what it does. It deletes the clip and it fills the gap. So Option or Alt Delete will delete the clip that is selected and fill the gap. Now the next little section here is kind of a whole bunch of different keys lumped into one section of shortcuts, but this is Control or Command X, C, and V, which is cut, copy, and paste. It's the same as a word processor, essentially. If you hold down Control or Command and hit X, C, and V, X stands for cut, C stands for copy, V stands for paste. So if we select this clip up here, I'm going to arrow down a few times here, and I'm going to hit D on this clip right here. D will select it. Now if I hit Control X, it cuts. And if I go to the end of my timeline here and hit Control V, it'll paste that clip. So just cut it, cut it, and it's holding that kind of in the ether, ready to paste somewhere, and then Control V will paste it. I'm gonna undo that, put it back to where it was, get back to where I was, and hit D to select, and now Control C will copy, move it over here to the end of the timeline, Control V and paste. That time it just copied it, and then I could paste it elsewhere. Now if you're trying to cut, now if you're trying to move something, uh, one little shortcut kind of connected to all this here in the same in the same shortcut category that we're seeing on the X, C, and B here. I'm going to hit my D, select this clip. I'm going to do Control X to cut it, and now I'm going to move down and say we want to insert this clip right here. So instead of Control V, if I hit Control V, it'll paste over everything in its path. So I'm going to undo that, and I'm going to use a little modifier key called the Shift key. So I'm going to hold down Control or Command, hold down Shift at the same time, and do V to paste. When I do that, it does what's called a ripple paste. It pastes it in and shoves everything else out. Then I can select this little space there, hit delete, and, and fill that gap back up and clear that gap. Something that every editor should do, like about every minute, 30 seconds to a minute, if you could think about it, is use the shortcut key Control S. What Control S does is it saves your projects, it saves the project's progress. It updates your, your project file. If you edit for like a half an hour and you forget to do it and you don't have your autosave on and your machine crashes, PCs and Macs crash whether you like it or not. Um, I know some Mac users say their Mac never crashes. That's because they never use it to edit. Just kidding. I love Macs and I love PCs. I love everybody. But you hit Control S and it saves your progress. Control S. You'll see a little, you'll see a quick little progress bar go on your screen and that means your project has been updated. And that is done by hitting Control or Command S. Next shortcut, Option or Alt Select. As long as your selection tool is clicked on here and you're on your selection tool down inside your timeline, if you click on a clip here, notice it'll select both video and audio. As long as th these clips are linked here, this audio belongs to this video, so when I select it, it selects both tracks. Say you want to select one of these individually so you can manipulate it or delete it separate from the file that it's linked to. Say we want to select this video here and shorten it or cut it. I'm going to hold down Option or Alt and click on that. And notice it selects it separately. And now if I hit Delete, it deletes that clip and, not, and does not delete the audio. Same here. If I select the audio, I hit Delete. There we go. So the next shortcut kind of builds on the previous shortcut. I'm going to hold down Option. And I'm going to select this video right there so it's a separate track. Say we need to lift this up so we need to do some compositing or move it on top of another clip. You can hold down Option or Alt and arrow up. Arrow up will move up your clip up a track. Option or Alt arrow down will move it downwards. And you can uh, you can move these up as many tracks as you want, move them down as many tracks as you want. So uh, if I hold down Option and select these two clips, Option arrow up will move those up. And then I can do put other things below it here if I'm doing compositing and whatnot. But a handy little tool there, because yeah, I've seen some people will try to grab a, grab a clip like this and kind of eyeball it and drag it up and they have trouble doing that. So the shortcut there is Option or Alt arrow up. Quick little navigation feature here, using your home and end key. A lot of people don't use their home and end keys on their keyboard. Now, if you're trying to navigate within your timeline here quickly, and I'm going to add a couple quick little features here. If you hit the backslash key above your enter key, it shows your entire timeline. If you hit plus at the top of your keyboard, it zooms in and minus zooms out. So plus, minus, and the backward slash are very useful here. But I wanted to show those really quick so I could talk about the home and end key. Your home key 
jumps to the beginning of your timeline. The end key jumps to the end. If you're trying to move a clip, say we're trying to move a clip here in the middle somewhere, I'm going to hit D to select. I'm going to hit Control X to cut. And I'm going to hit End to go to the end. And then I'm going to hit Control V and paste. So just some quick navigation features there. Next shortcuts that are handy here is navigating, still navigating within your timeline are your arrows up and down. If you hit arrow up, it jumps edits to the left. If you hit arrow down, it jumps edits to the right. So if you're trying to find a clip really quick, you can hit arrows up or down and it moves through your timeline. And the last shortcuts I'm showing are your arrows left and right. Arrow right will move through your clip one frame at a time to the right. It will go forward one frame at a time. Arrow left, every time you click it, will move one frame to the left. And if you use shift as a modifier key and do it to the right, it'll jump five frames forward at a time. If you do shift arrow left, it jumps five frames to the left at a time. So those are some quick handy shortcuts that should make editing in Premiere a lot faster for you. If you have any questions, please post them and thanks for watching.